It combines both relative abundance and species richness. What does that mean? Well, species richness tells us the number of species in a community. Great! So our community is more species rich than yours. Yes, but the rank abundance is important too, as it takes into account the relative abundance of each species. We need to know our overall ecological diversity to compare how each of us experiences our communities differently. Harry, stop eating your bananas! What's that graph you're holding? It's called a rank abundance plot. The longer and flatter the plot, the more diverse the community. So the green line represents me and my jungle friends. And the orange line represents ours. The problem is it doesn't represent what hasn't been observed, like Marcel swinging through the trees. How do you actually measure ecological diversity? You use something called a diversity index, which can either be parametric or non-parametric. Here's the equation for Fisher's Alpha Parametric Index. Ooh, what does that mean? I don't know, it's really confusing. Looking at the graph might help. The blue line shows that Sites, like ours, with the greater species richness, are generally more diverse. The red line shows that another site in the jungle might differ in diversity, despite having the same species richness. Here's a long normal graph, another parametric diversity index. Using this equation is an effective way of measuring diversity. But what about community and parametric distribution? Then you can either use Simpson's Diversity Index or Shannon's Diversity Index. The problem is, I've heard two communities with different rank abundance plots can end up with the same diversity index value. That can be a problem, but for that we can use evenness or equitability indices. Whoa, there's so many equations. And that's not the end of it. Apparently there's many other diversity indices you can use. As well as all this maths, you need to think about the area you're considering. Our site has a much more species-rich sample diversity than yours, but if we were all to be considered as one region, our beta diversity would be different to another region in the jungle. Oh, we're all just animals in the jungle, but all this makes us sound so complicated. Well, if you just make sure to consider the scale of sampling, be clear about symbols and notation, and know whether you're using parametric data or not, you should be fine.